Let me show you a couple of pictures that I took with my best tripod and why I often use my best tripod and not my favorite tripod and what the difference is. All right, so there's this one viewpoint of Seattle that you can get this nice shot of downtown. Remember I told you I like that dusk light, okay? And I wanted to get the freeway and as many of the lights in there as possible. But I have a lot of trees obstructing it, and I would rather have less trees than more trees obstructing the, ta the tail lights. And so by getting the camera into a better position, higher up over a fence, I was able to get in here. Now once I got in here, I was able to see another shot that I wasn't able to get before because there was trees blocking the lower part of it. And then when I got here, I could see that I had another option of a different shot, which was a panorama stitch shot, so that I could combine two of them together. And what allowed me to get this shot was this tripod here. I do have multiple tripods. I have a closet full of tripods and bags. If I was a girl, I would have tons of purses, but I'm a guy, so I have camera bags. And so this tripod is a four-section tripod, just like that one, but each leg is about, I don't know, about six inches taller. And so this is the two-thirds setup. And so I still have a full other leg to go on this. And I was able to shoot over a six-foot fence with this. And, okay, this is, this is a little overkill for most people. I, I understand that. I understand that, but you're kind of wondering, well, how did he get that shot? Because I trust you. If you go to this park, you're going to line up and you're going to go, how the H did he get that shot? You know, was he in a hovercraft? Because you can't get there. And so after I bought this tripod, I had to go to Home Depot and I bought a matching two-foot stepladder to go with it. Because you're wondering, how am I going to look through the camera when I get up there? And so I don't need this that often, but it changes the way that I look at what the potential shot is. When I was down in Utah at the Slot Canyons, there's a lot of places where you can kind of cram yourself up in corners and you're needing to reach legs into all sorts of crazy places. And I know I was down in this one section and there was a whole bunch of photographers and there was one place that looked like it was gonna be really cool to shoot. And I was the only person that could get in there and shoot with it because I was the only person that had legs long enough to get it supported in the right area. 